days to go until the deadline for troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. In the midst of a humanitarian crisis, the Taliban agreed to meet Sky News in Doha and issue this stark warning. If the US or the UK wanted to extend the 31st of August deadline in order to continue evacuations out of the country, would you agree to that? No, no. Why not? This, this is uh, something, uh, you can say it's a red line. President Biden uh, announced uh, this agreement that uh, 31st of August they would withdraw out their military forces. Uh, so if they extend it, that means they are extending occupation. While uh, there is no need uh, for, for that, I think that it will deteriorate the relation, that will uh, create mistrust bet between us. If they uh, are intent on continuing the occupation, so it will uh, provoke a reaction. Let's talk about the situation at the airport. People are very afraid of what life may look like under your rule. People are prepared to leave everything behind. They're prepared to risk their lives to leave the country. What would be your message to them? First, I assure you, it is not about their worry and not about their scare. scare. Their, this is about, uh, they, they want their demand to resettle in Western countries. And uh, that is a kind of economic migration because Afghanistan is a poor country and 70 percent of the people of Afghanistan are living under the line of poverty. So everyone wants to resettle in Western countries to have a prosperous life. Uh, so th 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 that is, it is not about scare. Of course, uh, for their justification to go there, they exaggerate, scare, and terrified, and so and so. So we know the Afghans. This is our society. This is not uh, the fact they are scared. We're hearing reports of members of the Taliban going door to door looking for people like journalists, like members of the judiciary, former government workers. We're hearing that girls' schools have been closed in some provinces. What are you doing about that? All fake reports. I was sure. if, if anyone is, as you say, and we investigate every incident, who is being door to door, he himself will be prosecuted and tried and punished because that is a, a violation of our policy. But uh, I can assure you, there are many reports by our opponent, opponents say, claiming uh, what is not uh, based on realities. And as we now approach the date for American, British, foreign forces, soldiers to leave Afghanistan, what would you say to the families of those who died trying to help Afghanistan? I first of all say they occupied our country. If we uh, occupy your country, what you will say to me? If you, I kill your people in your country, what you will say? I think uh, our, our people suffered a lot, bloodshed, destruction, everything. But uh, we say, the past is the past story, a part of the our part of our past history. Now we want to focus on future. 